So I normally don't film on Sundays, but today is a special occasion. My shoulders are ready to go. Today I am reviewing the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Supercharged Foundation. So I got this foundation at Sephora the other day and I have been dying to put it on my face since I got it, but I wanted to wait for you all so everybody's here now so we can go. This foundation comes in 16 shades. I almost said 48, but it's $48. 48 shades would be quite amazing though. 16 shades, $48, so it's definitely not for everybody. It is a higher priced foundation. I'm going to link the Marc Jacobs website below because I was reading a little blurb about this product and it says it's the first ever gel foundation of its kind and all this stuff. I don't want this review to be too, too long. So I'm going to link it below. You guys can read more about it if you want to, but I am going to get started. I am going to use my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. Yes, it's a little dirty. Everybody just settle down. Um, I have moisturizer and eye cream on my face and a little tiny bit of my L'Oreal Miracle Blur, which is what I normally use on a daily basis. So I'm just keeping everything the same. This means the same in Nicole Talk. Okay, so I'm going to pump a little bit out on the back of my hand. It's a little bit liquidy. Oh, and I'm in the shade Fawn Light. This is going to be light for me because I probably should have gotten Fawn Medium, but it's okay. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and we will get some makeup on this mug. Okay, so I am going to start with the right side of my face as I always do. <laughs> and I'm just going to tap this on and it in. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit light for me. It feels cool. That's my first kind of thing that I notice about it. It feels nice on the skin. It feels nice and cool. It feels very light. I don't feel like I'm putting like a thick, heavy foundation on. My skin is normal to dry. I do have a dry patch up here. Let me just pop you guys out a little bit. I do have a dry patch up here on my forehead and I can always tell how a foundation is going to be for me based on how it plays with, ow, with my dry patch. So that's about one side of my face done. Blend it out really easily. I mean, you guys just saw how simple that was. Evened out my skin tone. There is still a little bit of redness around my eyes, but that is always there. Yeah, so far so good. I'm going to do the other side of my face and I'm going to put a second layer on just so we can see how much coverage we can get out of this because it is a pretty sheer coverage foundation. I think it's light to medium. So I'm going to see if we can build it up to medium. But if you want a flawless full coverage kind of face this is definitely not going to be the foundation for you because it is a really light coverage but it's blending in really really well it looks like i have nothing on my face right now which i really really like wow my skin looks really good right now i'm going to put one more layer on just one more pump so i needed about two pumps for my entire face and i just put one more pump in my hand on my hand. It just looks really nice. It's not luminous. It's not matte. It's kind of like a very natural finish. I do feel it setting fairly fast. Like when I go back over to blend a spot out that I haven't been on for a couple seconds, I can feel that it's already starting to set. And yeah, my face doesn't feel tacky or anything. It's like totally set. So that's about two layers. Okay, so let's check out the dry patch. Yeah, I can see it clung to my dry patch a little bit. Not too bad though. So I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and let this set and I will be right back. <music> Alright guys, so I have my face on and I must say, the longer that I have the foundation on, the more that I like it. I don't know if that makes any sense. It's a really good amount of coverage. It's not a full, 
flawless coverage, but it's not too light. It's like that perfect in between. Um, I'm very, very happy with now, it. Now, by the way, I did use a little bit of my Urban Decay Deselect Mattifying Powder just in my T-zone, which is what I normally do. Um, I don't powder my entire face just because I am kind of dry. Oh, and about this dry patch that I noticed that was kind of clinging to, that has totally disappeared. Like, the foundation set and... It, there's no issues. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look clingy. The Marc Jacobs Overprotected Lip Gloss. What are these called? These are called the Lust for Lacquer Lip Vinyls, and this is Overprotected. I have it on right now. I've been wearing it since I got it, and I must say, I love it. I can definitely recommend this. They have a little bit of tingle, but nothing too crazy. It's I thick. It's a thicker lip gloss, but it's not sticky at all. It's very creamy. So the lip glosses are amazing. I'm going to have you guys kind of follow me throughout the day. I'm going to check in with you probably two more times today. It's 2.30 exactly right now. So I am going to go about my day and I will check back in with you guys probably in like two or three hours and we will see how this face is holding up. Okay, so update numero uno. It is 5.37. How's my foundation look? I vacuumed, I cleaned up the kitchen, I was getting a little sweaty so I was worried, but I must say, I am totally shine free. This just doesn't happen to me. Usually, like two hours after I put my foundation on, I have to use my Urban Decay powder or like blotting papers. There is no shine at all. But I'm not like totally matte either. It's like this perfect natural finish. I can still see my blush and bronzer. It did fade maybe a teeny tiny bit. As the day goes on, this foundation just looks even better. Like, I don't know what is in it, but it keeps just getting better. So far, everything is perfection. So I will check back in probably in about two hours. If I am still matte then, I'm going to do a backflip onto this bed from this chair. That'll be a sight to see. It looks like I just put it on. Like, that is kind of crazy. I can't stop looking at my face in the mirror. Wow. Very, very, very happy so far. All right, so I will check back in with you guys for one more update, and I will see you then. All right, guys, so this... Did I switch shoulders? I think I did. Um, this is going to be my final update. It's 6.45. I have to go out and finish cutting the grass. I know, so glamorous. I did want to give you guys my final thoughts on the product. I am still totally shine free. Like, there is no hint of anything going on. Even on my forehead. Like, I don't even feel like a little bit sticky where you get that kind of like, the shine is coming. Nothing's coming. I can still see my blush and bronzer. It looks so good. It went on beautifully. It felt really good. It was kind of cooling. Blended out really easily. And all in all, my experience with this foundation was perfect. The only thing was when it did kind of cling to that dry patch that I have, but that went away within like 15, 10, 15 minutes. If you're really dry, I don't know if you would have an issue with like dry patches or how you know how it would kind of sit on your skin but if you're normal skinned or if you have combination skin I think this foundation would be absolutely amazing for you. Genius Gel is the perfect name for this because it definitely is genius. So yeah, if there's anything that you feel I didn't answer or didn't touch upon, let me know in the comments. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this first impression review. If you try this product, let me know, did it work as well for you as it has for me? Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really excited about this product. You guys are definitely going to be hearing more about this in my videos. But thank you as always for watching. It up. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm. What do you guys think about my nails? Bomb digs? Bomb digs. Um
black and white polish and a little bit of glitter. I don't need to flip you off. I'm just showing you the glitter. Everybody back up. So look at this little glove that Sigma sent me. Shut up. Do you know how much fun I could have with this? Shut up, bitch. Oh, look at Um, shit. What? Just a little bit of a, um... Oh yeah, get it girl. Get it! Get it girl! Get it right now! You're talking to who? So, that is going to be why patty cake, patty cake, big man, big man, you can't as fast as you can! Look, what he did to my, look, I'm gonna zoom you guys in on this little mother. Watch us. Duke! Hey baby! What are you doing to mommy's pillows, baby? That is a bad boy. Do you care? Are you just being a strong boy right now? What's wrong with you, bitch? It just goes, that's just what goes through my head. These things just, just dance around in my head, and I'm like, oh, I have to tell my friends that. And then I tell you guys, and I'm like, they probably think I'm crazy now. Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I'm crazy? Let's think about my eye makeup. Have a peek. Know what it is? 